it. Judges are ready. We've got Jennifer, John, and Mandy, and they've already started with some liquid. <laughs> I'll tell you what, what a nice primer. Sal Howell here with the River Cafe. Sal, very excited to be here. And I said, uh, good morning to you. I said to you, you know, I don't want to focus so much on the flood. I want to focus on the success story. And you say, I, I said, it seems like a long time ago, very fresh for you guys because you're bigger and better than ever down here. If you have not been since the flood, get on down here. Oh, absolutely. We had a wonderful year last year and a great bounce back from the flood. Uh, it uh, still seems very recent, but uh, the restaurant's better, better than ever. Nice. If you haven't been here for a long time, if you're new to the city, River Cafe on Prince's Island, how would you describe it for a newbie, somebody who's never set foot in here, for, for cuisine and what the whole ambiance and idea of River Cafe is about? Well, it's... People think it's very magical. I mean, first of all, we're in the middle of the city, but we're on an island in the river, and you have to walk here. So stepping away from the downtown and the busyness, you just, uh, it's, a, it's a little transformation. And stepping inside, you know, we have our, our uh, fireplace. It's a beautiful time of year to be here, and uh, every table has a view to the park. You said we're going to leave the food talk up to Chef Andrew Winfield because he is, he's got some stuff together. We don't know what's up his sleeve coming up in a bit. But as far as being part of the best romantic uh, series on breakfast television, the ambiance here, uh, I'm, and I'm not a judge, thank goodness, don't think it, get much it gets much better when you talk about romance and Valentine's Day. Oh, absolutely. Many, many wonderful stories have uh, unfolded here, and we've been asked to do all sorts of crazy things and hiding rings and desserts, and, and uh, you know, you see nerves in the, in the room sometimes on a first date, but it's, it's beautiful, that walk through the park and uh, stepping inside. It's a, it's a timeless environment. It's warm and glowing, and, and it just feels good when you're here. A misconception, I think, of, of the cafe here, and I think about weekends and brunch, uh, you blew my mind uh, when you talk about the accessibility for, for the hours you're open uh, down here for people to come on by. Right. We, well, we're open every day and uh, throughout the day. You can come for lunch and dinner and weekend brunch, both Saturday and Sunday. And so we, uh, we have a busy weekend ahead, but you can drop in any time. Like all Calgary hotspots for Valentine's Day, locked down for Valentine's Day. It's a little too late to get your rezzo, but you might have the odd spot for brunch through the weekend. Absolutely. Saturday brunch and Sunday brunch, there are a few spots or, or just come in the early afternoon. So guys out there, it's not too late to salvage your relationship by maybe getting down here to the River Cafe. The judges are ready. We're going to find out what's on the menu and, of course, put them through the paces on down here. It's day three, the best of BT romantic restaurants. I think that's day three of Sparkles for Breakfast, too. Yeah. It's they hard do to it be a judge. Right. It's, it's a tough gig, but somebody's got to do it.